going on there, YouTube? Back again in the scale garage. Something a little different today. Uh, you know, I'm all about the hot rods and the, the vintage look and stuff like that. And something I've been wanting to do forever was to build a pedal car. A real one, but I don't have any kids. And, you know, it, you, you see them at car shows and they lower them and, you know, rusty or custom painted with metal flake. It's kind of cool. So, uh, in lieu of buying a real one, they do sell a kit. Speedway Motors sells a kit for like 160 And uh, I've seen lots of them online modified and stuff. It's pretty cool. I still think it would be cooler to find an original one, a body that's rusty and dented and just uh, slam it and make it roll. But uh, that's on my bucket list one day to, of things to build. But I thought, you know, it'd be cool to have one for my scale garage. And I, I had a bunch of these before. This is from... Uh, it's a die cast. It's from Pedal Power, I think. That, back in the early 2000s, I had all of these. I don't know why somebody bought them for me as a Christmas present. And uh, I had them out on display. And I had, for the life of me, I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. Luckily, they're, they're not that collectible and they don't hold any value. And I picked this one up on eBay for, uh, I think it was less, about eight bucks shipped. So, not a bad deal. Uh, but I want to modify it and uh, have it hanging around the scale garage. I don't know if I'll hang it on the wall or or what, but I want to use it in here, so uh, let's tear this thing open and see what we got. Alright guys, so bad looking little thing. Uh, nothing actually functions. It rolls. Well, it might actually... I think the pedals actually do do something, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. wants to seem... Okay, whatever. We're going to take all that off anyway. I want to slam it and I want to take the gas can thing off the back. So we're going to start by stripping it down and uh, getting it all apart. After a bit of cutting, it's about as low as I can get it. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to do some more hacking. The wheels and tires are one piece and they're pretty wide. And I sanded the inside down, but that's the hubcap is hitting the body on the front. So I think I'm gonna have to cut out most of the inner structure of it and just wing it from there. <laughs> uh, not sure yet how I want to do this. But that's all going to have to go. The little post inside, I cut down like uh, like Hot Wheels kind of have the tabs sometimes, some of the old Tootsie Toys and things like that. And uh, it's just a lot of trouble. And now there, there's just not any space between the fender and that axle post it's for the wheel. So, yep, I think all that's about to come out. We're going to have to cut the seat partially out as well. And uh, the back's not going to be able to be as low as the front because it's just not tall enough. If you look at, I think we maybe can go that much of the wheel. So it's going to have a bit of a rake to it. <laughs> but let's just hack it all up. I mean, like I said, this is only eight bucks. And uh, I intended on doing this, so let's get to the cut. <laughs> taking a lot longer than uh, I anticipated but I'm getting there I've narrowed the axles I have chopped out all of the seat and all of the post except for the front one which luckily I left enough I've drilled it out I'm just gonna force tap probably three millimeter RC hardware in it um, I have this hole in the rear and I've drilled another hole on the frame and this the way I've got the frame set up, I've narrowed the, the plastic and I've narrowed the axles and I can still put the pedals in and everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting over it cold. And that's probably going to be our ride high thread there. <laughs> Which is not going to roll, but whatever. It still looks cool and it'll 
it'll stay together. So uh, the next step, I'm, I will make a little seat or something to put in there just to just to hide the tires and the hack job I did cutting out the seat. This is like a die cast aluminum, so it, it, the way it was molded and stuff, the seat couldn't just come right out. It was half molded into the body, so uh, I could spend some time and clean up inside of there better, but really not that worried about it. So that's where I'm at. Now I need to start looking at what I'm going to do for paint and weathering. Um, I like the, the two-tone. I like that it's already got the grill and the lights and stuff painted. So I'm probably just going to uh, scuff it up a little bit with a scotch Bright, and I'm thinking about doing my AK rust streaks on it just to uh, take some of the shine down and make it not look brand new. <laughs> guys so everything's just about dry I went ahead and used the real rust the modern masters metal effects stuff Isn't that what this or model masters modern masters yeah on the uh, use that on the frame and the steering wheel just to kind of get rid of that chrome because I didn't want that shiny stuff in there and I didn't want to just paint it and when you paint the uh, rust streaks on chrome you really just kind of get a almost a bronze tint so uh, the chassis hadn't rusted a whole lot yet, and it's still a little damp, but I'm tired of waiting. The body's dry enough, and uh, we'll start putting this thing back together. Uh, i got to find some screws, and we'll get started. <laughs> guys there it is I'm finished uh, yeah <laughs> it's not really forced together I got one bolt in the front that's uh, going all the way through and then I put a three mil just through the the halves of the chassis or the yeah for <laughs> the frame at the back just to hold it together it's not attached to the body at the back but the one in the front it works it doesn't come apart I can pick it up and shake it won't really roll but you know <laughs> Just something to have uh, laying around the scale garage here. I have that old wallet that I used for the uh, fuel tank straps on the old number two. It's just leather, and I just cut a little square and mounted it in the on the frame there in the back, so it's got a little bit of a seat. And uh, I trimmed it around the frame and folded part of it down. So I'll show you that here in a second. But <laughs> just so you can get an idea of the size, the thing is tiny. <laughs> But it, I'm, it's pretty cool. I, I'm happy with the look, the patina. It looks better. I was thinking about doing the whole thing with uh, the real rust, but I'm glad I left the red and black. It looks looks sharp. Um, yeah, let me show you the inside. There you can see the, the steering wheel rust came out pretty good. A little bit of wear around the horn button, so you can see the chrome better. Uh, the top of the frame, the real rust, and that'll keep rusting, so that'll look better. And still got the pedals in it. So it's a lot better than I, I was thinking. After I started cutting the seat out, I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to make it still look complete. And I would just end up patina, putting some patina on it and hanging it on the wall in, a, in the scale shop. But keeping it all together, I think, was way cooler. But anyway, I'm not going to keep rambling about this. I'm just going to show you some different angles. You can kind of see the seat folds around the, uh, the frame there. <laughs> the tires stick up through. It's not exactly... Uh, child friendly and get uh, your fingers caught in the, the rear tires but whatever it's it's for show but anyway guys I appreciate you watching and uh, you gotta keep it scale all the little details really add up it doesn't matter what you got it how big your, your scale garage is whether it's something you handmade repurposed or uh, 3d printed or anything you know I've got so much stuff in my shop that's repurposed like this was a die cast toy 
that Coca-Cola machine in the back. It's a coin bank. One of my, I think it's the Snap-on toolbox in the back is a coin bank. The other one I'm not sure about, the Napa box. The, the, the signs on the back wall of the shop here, Chevy Route 66, and then I've got one over there, the genuine Chevy parts. Those are fridge magnets from Hobby Lobby. They're embossed like the original signs are. And I just put two sides of tape on, threw them on the wall. So you can do anything. There's no uh, no limitations. But I appreciate you watching, and stay tuned for more to come. I'll see you all in the next video.